The One Stop Shopping Expo taking place in Pattaya, it's one not to be missed. of some great bargains and the biggest sales on furniture, fashion and jewellery, plants and livestock, electronics, motors and much more. Indulge in delicious foods from all regions of Thailand and enjoy live entertainment daily. There's lots to see and do for the whole family with a mini fun fair for the kids. Taking place daily from 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. The One Stop Shopping Expo at the Sports Stadium on Soi Chayaprup 2 in East Pattaya. Fitness in Mike Shopping Mall is giving away free yoga and Zumba classes to all members. And you get their state-of-the-art fitness equipment, air-conditioned studios, and a choice of classes too. Gents, buy three months, get one free. Six months, get two free. Twelve months, get three free. And for the ladies who are looking to keep in shape, you get 50% off all memberships. Take advantage of these great deals now. From 7 a.m. through till 11 at night, Coco Fitness, no excuses. Fabulous 103 FM with crew Fon at Thai Time. Good morning. สวัสดีค่ะ. How are you? I'm fine. What are we going to learn? เข้าใจ. Understand. Yes, we have that already, right? เข้าใจ. Mm-hmm. เข้าใจ. Mm-hmm. เข้าใจ. Or, or you can say เข้าใจดี. เข้าใจดี, yes. My mm-hmm. which is I don't understand. Very good. And when you asking like question, do you understand then? เข้าใจไหม? Mm. Very good, mm. easy. You yeah. got it. Unfortunately, I work with people that come and do odd jobs around the house and you try and explain it to them, they nod their heads. And then mm. you sit there, เข้าใจไหม? And they go, mm-mm. So you, you think they've got it, but they haven't. It's always well, good to ask that question. It's good that they said they don't understand. They Some they don't understand and they just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yes, yeah. I do. No problem for you, mister. <laughs> yeah, right, then the house falls down. There you go. Uh, back tomorrow with Crew Fall on yeah. Fabulous 103. In Chiang Mai, while police last month allowed a British tattoo artist to return to the UK, they've clarified this week that he isn't the kind sweet type portrayed by the UK media. The 29-year-old spent 10 days in jail after picking up a mobile phone at the airport that wasn't his. He claimed he was only going to try and find its owner. Police showed that he'd taken it to his hotel, removed the SIM card and changed the phone language. All the data from the phone was wiped too. Not exactly the act of someone looking to repatriate a phone with its owner. A crackdown on illegal workers on PP Island has seen a 28-year-old British man nabbed. He was flogging tour packages to tourists without any visa or work permit. Jailed along with five Burmese, he can expect short shrift. 
On Koh Samui, Westerners who invested in large houses on a hillside, turning them into hotels to reap the benefits of tourism, have come a cropper. That as authorities raided the homes yesterday, which weren't registered as hotels and didn't comply with hotel requirements in Thailand. 18 so-called hotels in all, with most owners European. Operators and shareholders face charges. An American on his way back home and waiting for a flight in Bangkok was surprised when he was arrested. It seems that the daft 28-year-old had stolen a speedboat in the early hours of the weekend morning and then dumping it further on down the shoreline with damage to the engine and hull. Tracing his movements as hotels registered him in the capital, police sat back and waited for him to get his ticket. It looks like he'll be taking a much, much later flight and certainly faces the bills for repairs. A third off legal fees in the city today, a 500 baht voucher for a city centre top-end spa, 15% off for listeners going Japanese, Thai or Western restaurants, all at alwayspatia.com. And if you're running a business here and you've got specials and promotions, visit alwayspatia.com. You can list them for free. That's alwayspatia.com, your first stop for local news, local radio, TV, special events and, of course, discounts. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 35, dropping down to 30 and a very sunny day, that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM. Keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Patia, the city of fun. Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, this is Joe Parsons at the BBC Sports Centre. Manchester City are back on top of the English Premier League table after a comfortable 2-0 win over Manchester United at Old Trafford. Bernardo Silva put City ahead in the 54th minute, with Leroy Sane adding a second 12 minutes later. You know, it will be a difficult game here. Um, of course, it's, it's the derby. Um, I think we did it also really quite well. Had the first half a little bit of our problems. Um, I think we didn't come really like in our rhythm. But um, I think at the end we, we did it really good. We were patient. Um, tried to, to do our game, to play our game the way how we want it. Um, I think, yeah, with, the, with this win today, uh, we are all really happy. Well, the result leaves Pep Guardiola City a point clear of Liverpool, with three matches remaining for both sides. Huge victory for us because we know that, but still, you know, be calm right now. We have to be absolutely so calm because on Sunday we go to, you know, to Burnley and know how difficult it is and you have to be calm because when we draw points, we cannot be champion. A United seventh defeat in nine matches in all competitions leaves them sixth, three points behind Chelsea in fourth. Arsenal's hopes of a top four finish suffered a setback when they were comprehensively outplayed in a 3-1 defeat at Wolverhampton Wanderers. Watching at Molyneux was the BBC's Conor McNamara, who says Arsenal were never in the game. You can have little spells, you can have periods. Yes, they did get a consolation goal towards the end, but you would never say Arsenal were in this game. Too many unforced errors throughout. You know, the consistency is the problem. We know they had that great run of performances at home, um, but beaten at home uh, last time out against Crystal Palace and completely walloped away at Molyneux here today. The Chelsea boss Maurizio Sarri has been charged with misconduct after he was sent to the stands at the end of Monday's two-all draw with Burnley. It comes after Chelsea's David Luiz and Ashley Barnes of Burnley were involved in an altercation on the pitch and a scuffle took place near the tunnel entrance at the final whistle. The club's assistant coach, Gianfranco Zola, said Burnley's backroom staff offended Sarri. And for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com forward slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Right, Megan, you're in the lead, so you can go first. Um, what is your buzzer going to be? Megan. Oh, that's so it's boring. It's my lucky, lucky buzzer. Um, you want to know mine? Uh, that'll be an idea, yeah. <laughs> yeah the Avengers. <laughs> I forget it. I will forget it. No, no, it's just a Thai way that they say, you know, oh, I've right. endured. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> so, how did you get to work this morning on your motorcycle? Motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Universally challenged this Wednesday morning. It's currently 1 0 to Megs.
and then he equalised today. He's not feeling very confident. I'm not. I don't no, know why. I'm completely <laughs> stressed am I. out. <laughs> are you ready for today's clue? Yes, we are. Oh, he's down looking. Here we go. Mother takes Henry's car to pick up the kids. <laughs> Mother takes Henry's car to pick up the kids. Who's Henry? <laughs> and what car does he drive? <laughs> okay, I'll give you a clue. Who oh. invented the first car? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, I don't know. Avenger. Yes, Danny. Uh, Ford Prefect. There you go. I'll give you the answer. Um, that's wrong. I oh, know. <laughs> uh, no, I'll give the... Megan the, the answer now. I'll give you a clue. I'll read the clue again. Mother takes Henry's car to pick up the kids. It's just out, way out. Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, I have no idea, so I'm just gonna um, Megan Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Megan Michael Jackson is uh, wrong, okay. I'm afraid. Um, I just want to pass it over to Denny, so he might give me another clue. Yeah, well, you've got one. Um, what was that called? The I can't remember what it's called car that was available in any colour, every colour uh, Okay, I'll black. give you a clue, right? What so was the, what was the, the clue first... again? Henry, mother's Mother takes Henry's car to pick up the kids I've given you a clue, who was the first it's person? such a stupid clue I don't write them <laughs> um, I'll give you a clue, who, who invented the first ever car? It was uh, it was either Mercedes or BMW. It was no, mainly it Germany. Wasn't. It was. No, it You're wasn't. thinking it's no, Ford, it and it, it wasn't was, Ford. The first person that invented the car was Henry Ford. No, it wasn't. Right? So. Absolutely wrong. <laughs> it was invented in Germany <laughs> by Mercedes, I think. No, Here seriously. Here we go again. Here we go again. Anyway, go on, carry on. Right, okay, so the first part of the clue is Ford. Right. Right, okay. A mother. Mum. Ma. Right. So, ma, mum and... Mumford. Oh, Megan. Go on. <laughs> yes. Mumford. That's why I just said you. <laughs> yeah, but well, you didn't that. say you. Oh. You didn't say you. Oh, and no, it was it my was, go. It was his you didn't go. say you buzzer. It was my okay, go. It was, was Denny's it? go. go. Avenger. <laughs> yes, Denny. Mumford. Are you sure? No, I have no idea what I've just <laughs> Never said. Heard of Mumford and what? <laughs> Mumford and Sons. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've heard of them. <laughs> Congratulations. I thought, yeah. Have you heard of them? Yeah, now I've said it. I've re yeah, I've heard of them before. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> well, that's a... Honest, I get so much grief when I leave this building. <laughs> People coming going, you're, you're an idiot. <laughs> the answer was Mumford and Sons. Mum, God. Ford. I've never heard of them. And she goes to pick up the kids, her sons. Yeah, but that is years and years and years ago, isn't it? That's like 1960s. 60s, isn't it? Really? Oh, Mumford and Sons. Yeah. It was out three years ago. Was it? It must be really crap then, because I've never heard of it. They're massive. They're, I mean, they're, really? they're, they're from Manchester. They're always in the chart. Uh. In fact, if you listened, <laughs> they've got a song out right now, which we're playing on the radio. <laughs> Honest and God, our sales manager <laughs> doesn't even know what music we're playing. <laughs> <laughs> Mumford and Sons from so, the 70s. So we've got another disagreement. You say that the first car... Was not a fold. I'll check now. Okay. <laughs> Here we go again. You go and check while we, while we play um, Mumford and Sons. Um, <laughs> let me try and find it because I've deleted everything. There you go. Carl Benz from Germany. Thank you very much. No, it wasn't. It yeah, was I said Mercedes Benz, Germany. Somebody's text that to him. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll research it and we'll come back with a conclusion after the break. How about I know it wasn't Ford. Ford done the first production line. Whatever. <laughs> For the Model T. They said, you have any go at me. I don't write these clues, <laughs> right? It's the old man that writes them from the retirement home. I don't write them. I just read them out and try to help you both. That's one Would old, you though. have got that? I don't get any of them. I think it's. <laughs> I think the clues are absolutely <laughs> stupid, if you're wrong, to be honest. In fact, I think the whole idea of writing these clues is ridiculous. <laughs> you should just do a simple yes or no answer. Yeah. Make it really easy. <laughs> but that defeats the object. Right, yes. we'll have a, a steward's inquiry and we'll come back to you in a sec. Yeah. Coming up next... 
Cartier Mail, taking you on a road trip. Isn't it time that you escaped to the island of Koh Chang and relax at a brand new resort that promises luxury along with the best of island life? The Elysian Pearl is a family-owned resort offering excellent and affordable accommodation with sea views and easy access to the ferry, but not in a crowded tourist area. Jungle, hillsides and waterfalls, elephants and more, all within easy reach. We can arrange transport from the ferry or you can drive to us and park. Google Elysian Pearl Ko Chang for details. Elysian Pearl Resort, Ko Chang's newest, brightest secret, is out now. stop today on my mooch about the island. <laughs> hey! Wow, look at this. Look at that. And you can stay in these rooms, eh? Lamai fresh coconut ice cream, and I absolutely love it. Ice cream. <laughs> wow, 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 even if I do. Even if I do drop the spoon. Okay. <laughs> and now we're coming up to Fisherman's Village and Beauport Beach. Oh. There you go, Fisherman's Village and Beauport Beach. Back on the bike now and look for somewhere else to go. Come on, let's carry on mooching. Time for a fruit shake. Either a mango or a strawberry or banana, something like that one. And here they're doing them at just 60 baht. Banana, kiwi, watermelon, strawberry, dragon fruit. Hello! It's got to be a mango, please. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. I tell you what, it's too hot now. That's enough of the uh, mooching about for one day in this heat. Gonna cool off now with my nice uh, mango smoothie. Look out for part two of mooching on Koh Samui. Coming soon. But until then, the main thing is, keep smiling. <laughs> Hey guys, 
guys, I'm Megan and you're watching Fabulous TV Patia. Today I'm here on the beautiful island of Gotsi Chang. It's only 30 kilometers north of Patia, which is about a 40 minutes drive in the car. Also a 40 minute boat ride, which costs only 50 baht, making it a great place to come for a day out. So come on, let's see how we get here and what there is to do on the beautiful island of Gotsi Chang. Gotsi Chang, also known as Kosi Chang, is located around 30 kilometers north of Pattaya, with the ferry departing from Siracha city. Once you reach Siracha, the best way to get to the ferry is by Tuk Tuk. This is the most popular transportation around the city, and parking at the ferry is limited. Ferry tickets to the island cost only 50 baht per person per way. Boats depart hourly in high season and every two hours in low season. The boat ride to the island takes around 40 minutes and there are life jackets on board for your safety. Now sit back, relax and take in the beautiful views. You'll be there in no time. Upon arriving at Koh Si Chang Island, there's a tourist information desk and an island map with all the information you need to help plan your adventure. The most convenient way to get around would be to rent a motorbike, costing around 80 baht an hour, 250 baht for the day, or 300 baht overnight. If you prefer not to drive, you can hire a tuk-tuk with a driver to take you to the most popular hotspots for only 250 baht. The first stop on the island is the beautiful multi-level Chinese temple set up high on the cliff. Tram rides to the top are available for the elderly and disabled. Once reaching the top, you'll be faced with the most spectacular, breathtaking views overlooking the bay. Here, you'll also be able to explore the Shrine Caves, which date back to the days when Chinese traders anchored in the sheltered waters. This is a very popular spot for people to come to meditate, pray, and wish for good fortune when visiting the island. Outside, visitors let off firecrackers to scare away bad spirits. Join us again tomorrow when we visit the most popular hotspots and beautiful beach on the paradise island of Koh Si Chang.